All right, so what we're gonna see here is a uh, pass go over the top from Kraus to Doc's Aiken. And you're gonna see Aiken uh, kind of just take a couple of steps down the alley and, and, and get a shot off. So let's, uh, let's start watching it. Here comes the skip pass. And you're gonna see there's no help. So what Aiken is looking at is after uh, he gets the ball, he sees we do have a guy here, but he's also got two players here. So this is what you'd call a good time. So, you know, you might like to see him come in and split him down, but he, he wants to get right to business. He's just going to come right down the alley here, get his hands free, easy goal. Just nobody there to help. Defender not aware. Defender doesn't even get a check in, doesn't even get on his hands. It, it, it gets no easier than that. All right, what we're going to see here is DeSimone get to the middle. And you can see the defense is getting ready. It's almost as if he's trying to force him to go left, which DeSimone is going to bring the ball left. We're going to see a pick set here by uh, uh, Stanwick. And DeSimone's going to give him a little shake and then break off. And that pick is going to work. He's going to perfectly set his man up to run off of Stanwick's screen. So you see right there, pick has worked. His man's going to have to fight through it. This pole is going to try to hedge. You'd almost like to see them make a better decision here where, hey, I'm going to go, and then that could have possibly prevented what happened. But you're going to see he doesn't try to come too far downhill because if he had come too far downhill, he would have then been within reach of this guy's long pole and he would have beat him with it. What he does is he sees his man gets picked. He's going to just kind of come out wide, which doesn't allow the help to get there, doesn't allow his man to follow him, and he's going to keep his hands free. Shot score. See, he comes wide. Nobody's there. Now, when we see it from the other angle, so had he come downhill more, had he come off that screen and then came down this line, then it's this, this pole would have been there to actually help him. So by coming wide, but not too wide, he keeps the distance from the pole. His man's still forced to chase. Pole can, can't get a check in. Easy goal. Now, what we're about to see here is Jamie Tremboli of uh, Syracuse. He's going to execute a textbook and very patient alley dodge down the left side against Duke here. So we will watch it. What you're going to see here, Tromboli sets him up well. They, they, You'll hear guys talk about trying to dodge, alley dodge down the hash. If there were hash marks on this field, they would be somewhere in this area here. I even tell guys I like to uh, see them bring their men in to the pipe. I like to kind of picture an imaginary line down here, and I like them to bring their man in and then dodge down the pipe because then you can kind of try to get away from your pole a little bit. But either way, you're going to see Tromboli doesn't come in quite as far. And this is where the patience comes in. The pole, decent defense here, although he's trying to hook him and he's not moving with him anymore. So Tromboli knows this. He's going to be patient. And he's going to run through that stick check, hands-free shot. And it's just a matter of being patient there. He feels it now. He keeps going down the alley. His hands are free, gets his stick up, gets in the shooting motion, and he sticks it. Here we're going to see uh, Pat Carlin. Uh, do an excellent job of dodging down the alley. This is just really, really bad defense. I would have almost liked to have seen Carlin get into the hash. Right? We try to teach guys the hash mark, or even sometimes you'll bring him in a little bit more and then dodge out to the hash. In this case, he's only going to bring him in, and he's going to dodge pretty much down that hash. This defender, though, never gets a stick check on him. I'll let you see it full speed, and then we'll watch a couple of replays. You'll watch. Doesn't get anything on him. So Carlin's just like, all right, hey, hands, hands free, time and room. So you'll see there, this, this is the point here where you got to be saying to yourself, okay, he doesn't, he, he has no hands on me. He does not have the ability to get his hands on me now. And you see, that's where he gets up into a shooting motion and then lets it rip on the run. We'll see it from one more angle. And this is where, oh, 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 one more step. Now he's, he knows that he's got this shooting motion shot score. Puts it right at the goalie's head. That's impossible for a goalie to place, but that is a textbook alley dodge. That is a, a very high percentage shot. Shooting on the run like that, if he misses, the ball uh, you know, skates out this way, out that way, over the cage, and you can get a backup. So, I mean, that that is exactly what you want to see out of a player when you ask them to alley dodge as part of uh, the start of an offensive possession. All right, we're going to see Brendan Curry here. He torched UNC last year. Uh, towards the end of the game, this dodge actually started up here, and he's going to use this pick and a and a poor 
uh, attempt to get through the pick by his defender here to kind of get down the alley and down the hash like we talk about. He's going to be a little bit outside the hash coming away from the cage. The help isn't going to come. We'll show it quick here. You'll see the help doesn't come. Now his hands are free. He feels it. Shot, score. We'll watch it from another angle here all the way through. So you're going to see his defender kind of screws himself. His defender should not have allowed that pick to get put right there as his man's coming in and getting ready to break him down. And and by riding this, you're going to see it actually kind of almost allows, I think that's Bomberry, to set a sort of moving pick on him because he's purposely backing into it. And boom, he's already hooked. Now this is where Curry's already going downhill. So this is the important part. Curry is now running downhill. His defender is still kind of coming sideways, trying to break down on him. And you'll see Curry kind of shade off that first blow and then get down and get his hands free. So right there, he knows he, he has no shot at guarding me. The help isn't there. So he's going to have a window of opportunity, you know, from about here and here. And you can see he's anticipating that window of opportunity. He's already got his stick back, hands free. Sticks it beautifully. And here we'll we'll uh, see one of the best at this, uh, Connor Fletcher. And we're going to see him bring his man in. This is where I was talking about bringing your man in and then coming down. And by it almost isn't even an alley dodge at this point because he's in the middle of the field and he's just dodging to space in the middle of the field. But it fits the profile. And, and the way that Maryland played this, you can see there's space in here. So he's simply going to bring his man. Let me get rid of that and do that again. He's simply going to bring his man in, find that space and get his hands free while he's in that little slot. Watch this. All right. So you can see here, we got the pick being set up. I believe that's Doiak. And uh, so he brings his man in. Now his man's forcing him this way. So he's just going to go and get into this space here. And there's no help. They don't really hedge the pick at all. Doiak doesn't even really said it. It's just a quick little pick slip and they, and they scorched Maryland on this a lot uh, throughout the day. And right here is his man's just not with him. And this is what happens. You feel your man behind you. The help hasn't come up to pop you yet. And you're in an area where you can shoot, get those hands free and let it rip. And this is one of the best things that Fletcher does shoot on the run. Beautiful shot by Fletcher. Here we see it again from this angle. You see he goes. Now the pole, his defender's already in trouble. So right now you got your eyes up and you're looking. You know that you've got to step on your man and you're starting to come downhill. So your eyes are up looking for the help. So as he comes, you can see he's like, hey, he actually even looked a little bit right. You could see trying to see where is this coming? This guy's not coming up. This guy's not coming up. He's got a lot of space in that area right there. Takes a step, gets the shooting motion. And oh, what a beautifully placed shot too, though. Here is an example of sometimes uh, an alley dodge will result in you, no one getting a stick on you and you being able to put the, the stick in your strong hand and just getting a shot off. We're going to see here uh, Fairman play terrible defense, terrible defense, nothing, didn't get a stick on him. And now he is down the alley, didn't recover. And he just knows, hey, look, at he, I, he, I, I don't even feel him on my back. So now he's going to bring his stick into his strong hand and get ready to come back to the middle of the field. Light it up. Beautiful. And I mean, that's just a cannon. That is just a cannon. And you see here, here's the little shake. Now he's down the alley. He knows how badly he's beat his man. He, he could tell. So he already knows he's going to kind of sneak in here and then try to come back to the middle of the field a little bit. Get in a shooting motion. Lights it up. That's really just terrible defense. Let's watch him do his little dance. Celebrate, buddy. And here's going to be another example of when you get down the alley, when, when no one's on your hands, you just let it rip. You do anything you can to try to let it rip. So we're going to see quick little dodge into the middle. Now Gutterding is up here. So Gutterding, he knows what he wants to do. He wants to just kind of bring the ball down here and see what happens. What happens is that his defender does not even attempt to put a stick on him. So boom. Here it comes. And this is where this defender, he needs to come meet him and get a stick on him and kind of ride him the rest of the way down. He doesn't do that. Gutterding standing here and, and Gutterding, you can see right now, little, little uh, light bulb went off in his head and he's like, yep, nobody's on my hands. That's a what? 12 yards, 11 yards. And he's already got his stick back. Defender's nowhere near him. So he's not going to interfere with the shooting motion. Boom. Lights it up. So this is where you can see he's thinking, okay, what's happening? Wait a minute. Nobody's on my hands. 
And then, I mean, and that's just tricky too, because you know, this defender, he's looking for some kind of signal, you know, he's watching him here. He was looking for some kind of signal to indicate that, Hey, he's about to shoot. And you can see he, he kind of started this shot in mid stride and then just lights it up in the corner. That's just a great shot. You can tell Pat Carlin uh, is from the town that I live in. Uh, he's getting a little more action here. So here's where we're going to see the alley dodge. And then we're going to see the player turn the ball uh, back up field. So, this is where you get down the alley and let's say re-dodging is part of your offensive scheme. So you're allowed to kind of dodge down the alley and then come back up. We're going to see Carlin do that here. Normal down the alley. You know, you almost feel like he might have the beginning of something down here. And that's probably why he decided to re-dodge. So you're going to see him come in. Oh, well, hey, I'm covered. And you can see here. He's the one who's got the step. His defender is now trying to stop, and he's already got his foot planted ready to come back upfield. So you're going to see him stop here and then bring it back. Now he's going to have his defender crawl. Oh, and there you go. So as he came back this way, his defender takes that extra step. So now he's got this inside lane to try to come back in. And he sticks a beautiful shot. You see it again? As he came in, and you could, he was trying to be patient. I'm not sure he was looking to dodge right away, but as he took that step in, he realizes, all right, look, here is the wall of defenders. My pole is underneath me in that sense. So he's got the step to come back in here into the middle. Does it. Hands free. Goal. All right, here we are going to see Costabile. And what you notice is defender, defender, defender. I would have liked to have seen him come hard and get a shot off down here. The, the result's going to be the same. What he's going to end up doing is just taking his time, and he's going to kind of bring his defender down, get a feel for him, and right in about this area here, he's going to feel the defender being a little bit lazy. He knows that he's in a good spot, and he's going to then try to pinch this off. Be, pinch this off. <laughs> Sorry. He's going to kind of press this dodge in when he feels that defender on his back hip. Here's where he's like, all right, listen, help's still not here. Help is still there. He is in a beautiful spot. His defender is now on the bad side. So his stick is on the back of him. He's going to start coming right in and use that patience to just dip and dunk. Pole trying to go for the check. So he kind of lazily got behind him. Now he's going to try to go over his head and he's just going to duck right in and bury this. See it again. This is where the defender, you know, it was just... Poor attempt at covering him because he really got beat out here. So Costabile was just waiting all the way in to just be patient and bury that past Madonna. Here is another example, another good time dodge. It's actually a little more congested than I would like. We've got the two guys here. He's just going to bring him in and then kind of come down the side. And you're going to see, no, no, it's, it's just another scenario in which he's in this spot in here and nobody actually grabs his hands. The, the defender doesn't touch him, so he, he kind of takes that shot right there. Look, nobody's on his hands. No one had touched him yet, so he's free to try to get that shooting motion. Buries it. We'll see again as he comes down. Still not touched. Still not touched. He sees the help coming now, and that's going to kind of create an, an odd spot for the goalie. So as he comes into here, and no one's still on his hands. He's got time to get that, get into that shooting motion right there. Places it, and th and this was that was a very savable ball. This was a stretch uh, in this Albany Yale game where uh, they just hadn't made a save. They really had done nothing on defense yet. So that's just a shooter feeling it. You normally might not take that shot, but uh, in this case here, you could see how it panned out, and and you see why nobody was on his hands. And when you let guys shoot without getting on their hands and contesting that shot in some way, bad things are going to happen. Yeah.